Right guys, we've got a beautiful brown crab from my friends at the Sea of the Sea again. Um, it's a male crab. Okay, you can see by the point here. The female has a much wider flap to obviously hold eggs. So we're gonna kill this in the quickest, humanest way we can do possible, which is gonna be lifting up this tail flap and we're gonna spike it in a little hole that's just about here. And then we're gonna spike him right in here, just in by his mouth, up by his head. And that's gonna kill his nervous system completely. It's the most humane way to do it. And then we're just gonna cook him in some salted boiling water. He's been in the fridge overnight. So he's still very docile. So you wanna do it quickly. You don't wanna leave him out for hours. They need to be alive because as soon as a shellfish breaks, um, dies, they start breaking down internally. And that spoils the meat. So you wanna do it from live. It seems a bit cruel, but it's this is the best way to do it. So you want a, a, a pointy implement, just something like a, a, a spike or a skewer or something that's quite good as well. And then as soon as you open this flap up, he might jolt up a bit, but this is, as soon as you insert that in there, it's gonna be nice and quick and easy. Okay, and there's a hole right here. Give it a wiggle. And then into the mouth into the mouth and up, okay? And that's gonna render them completely dead. There'll still be a little bit of movement, but that's just the, everything just relaxing. Okay, so done completely humanely. So for our crab, we have a pot of boiling water, nice big pot. We're gonna put quite a bit of salt in there. You want the salt, same salinity as seawater. Um, and that's gonna not season the meat, but it's gonna keep it juicy and tasty. Right, so I've had this guy boiling for about 10 minutes. Depending on the size of them, if they're a bit bigger, they might need longer. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take them out. Don't plunge it into boiling water. Some people plunge it into boiling water, but you don't need to. Just let them cool like that, it's the best way. Otherwise it gets, uh, just kind of sit them up like that. It'll all drain out to the top of the head, all the excess water. If you plunge it into ice water, you're just adding more water to it. It makes it all just not very nice. So leave it cool down like that naturally. We'll come back and pick it in a bit. Right, we're going to show you how to break down the crab. Um, so obviously we let him cool down. And then we're just going to pull him apart. Sounds great. Should be a right, so. Not the prettiest chopping board I have, sorry about that, but it's effective. So what you're gonna do off first is gonna break off all these legs. Alright, I'll show you how to pick out that in a minute. You just pull them towards like that. Then with the bigger ones, they'll just twist off. Then you're left. So that's where the bulk of your white meat is gonna come from. The dog was very excited about this. That's where the bulk of your white meat is, all right? It's on the claws, it's in the smaller legs. Inside here is the good stuff, it's the brown meat. It's really good. So what you wanna do on the back end, so you might have a bit of like extra water in here as well, so it could get messy. You're just gonna push down here with your thumbs, pop it over like that. And this main frame comes out. On here, you can go through the middle of this, there's lots of bits of food, but what you wanna get rid of is these guys, these gills, these dead man's fingers as they're called. Some people say they're poisonous. They're not poisonous, they're just not very pleasant to eat. And if you ate a lot of them, you'd be pretty ill, but you'd be pretty stupid to eat a lot of them because as soon as you put them in their mouth, they're horrible. So get rid of those, they go in the bin. All right, and inside this cavity, there's lots of little bits of meat you can pick out. All right, and then in there, zoom in there, Ned, is all the brown meat. All right, that's delicious. All this stuff, it doesn't look the, the nicest, but it's really good. Tasty. Exactly. What you want to do as well is just get rid of this. Just the mouth area. There's nothing good in there. All right. Dart. Everything else in there is good. Really, really good stuff. Just put that in the bowl. Mm -hmm. Mix that through. If you're doing like you're doing like crab mayo, if you're doing just some dressed up crab. And it's a bit like. It's got some fibers in there, but you can just blitz that down. It just melts down. It's really good stuff. All right, that's loads of flavor. So all the rest of this we're getting rid of. Off to the side. So then with the claws, 
the little ones, you got a nice chunk of meat in here. Not much in these top, part, top parts here. There's a bit in there though. What I need to invest in is a pick, really. I said I got a nice one. Shut up, buddy. Stop it, get down. Good boy, down. Get down. And obviously the cleaner you do this, the better, because you, want, you don't want- Can we get a different bowl? That's embarrassing. Sure. I this one. Well, no harm. we could invest in some. Uh... Bad, so, yeah, all right, so this little one, just leaving the knife really loose, just a little tap. Try and minimize the amount of shell that, that's coming so that you don't, have to, you will have to pick through it later, but. All right. Like I said, need to invest in the pick. That's doing the job though, isn't it? It's doing the job. It's grand. Improvise that. All right, with the bigger claws. All right, so they're strong buggers. You might need to stab in between. All right, so there's there. Pop that off. You can see there's nice big chunks of meat on there. Watch out for bits of cartilage like this. Ooh. You don't want that. And just like with the smaller ones, you need to give this a bit a bit more of a whack. All right, and you just wanna loosely. The less times you hit it, the better. You have less chance of getting lots of shell. Which is horrendous. Well, yeah, but you'll pick through it afterwards and it's fine. And you also wanna try and get the meat out in nice big chunks as well. Nice big pieces like that are delicious. Beautiful. This little knuckle is always hard. I always end up injuring myself. <laughs> He's not coming. Look at it. Some nice big chunks of shell there that you can just clearly see from the littler bits. Try and get them out before the meat starts breaking apart. middle of this big chunky claw there is a bit of cartilage again so you just want to push your thumb against it you'll feel it in there and it all comes off like this and it's a fiddly process and it takes a bit of time and a bit more like first time you do it you won't get it it'll be a lot of work but it is worth it because you paid a fortune for picked crab and they're pretty cheap if you buy them as is, you gotta do the work yourself, like anything. Just scoop it all out. Love a bit of manual labor, don't we? Ah, yeah, labor of love. All right, I'm gonna start picking through all this and I'll show you how much I get from it there. So I picked through all the crab. I could get a bit more out of it probably, but uh, I'm all right. So all this, don't get rid of it. These shells, don't throw it in the bin. You can make a beautiful crab stock that you can use for risotto, or you can do a beautiful bisque. It's like a beautiful, nice kind of shellfish soup. Chowder. Um, yeah, you can use it in the base for chowder. Chowder has not really got shellfish and stuff, but it's still. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but uh, well, clams traditionally. But um, yeah, so you can, like roast these up and then put them in a pot with just some like garlic, onion, celery, carrots. Uh, some just top it up with some water, maybe some tomato paste if you want, and then just yeah, that's a beautiful soup. You can also use this guy, so you can clear out, just wash that up. You can scrub off the sides; they come up quite nice. And you can do a classic kind of a dressed crab, which is like a kind of you can make a brown, like a br uh, brown crab meat mayo, and then mix it through that with some nice herbs, some lemon, pop it back in the shell. It's really naff and retro, but <laughs> people love it. Um, but yeah. That is a crab picked apart, so we're going to use that in our pasta later on. <laughs>